Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, chairman and distinguished guests. I am Trina Conlon, manager of Stool Arts Centre, and I'm delighted to welcome you all here for the launch of our first ever online art exhibition, One Foot Square 2020. We all know this has been a challenging year for many, not least for artists. However, lockdown brought about an opportunity for many people to reconnect with themselves and even take up new hobbies, such as art or music or reading and writing. All those things that somehow got pushed aside in our busy lifestyles. People now realise the importance of a healthy and balanced mind and body and the contribution that art and the creative industries play in achieving this. We may not be able to attend venues like we used to for another while yet. However, we can enjoy art and music and reading and so much more from the comfort of our own home. We have recently launched Christmas from Stool Art Centre, an online programme of which One Foot Square is part of. This programme also includes live local music from a range of genres every weekend through to all through Christmas and the New Year. It also includes pottery, stories and festive family favourites. Please follow Stool Art Centre Facebook page for all the details. And now I will hand you over to Fermanagh and Omidus for Council Chairman, Councillor Chris Smith, to officially open One Foot Square 2020. And that will be followed by Geraldine O'Reilly from Fermanagh and Omidus Arts Forum, who will tell us a little bit more about One Foot Square 2020 submissions and announce this year's winners. Good luck, everyone. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to welcome you on behalf of Fermanagh Ministry Council to the Stroll Arts Centre for the launch of Council's first ever online small works exhibition, One Foot Square 2020. This exhibition normally runs um, at the Stroll Arts Centre during December, however uh, this year we'll host it directly to you from the Arts Centre and the Fermanagh Arts and Culture Facebook pages, providing an opportunity to reach an even wider online audience. This is the 13th year of the One Foot Square exhibition, an event that has grown annually and attract artists of all genres and creative backgrounds, both locally and further afield. There was an excellent response to the open call to the arts community um, from 39 artists uh, showing 117 works of art. The Art Centre is proud to host this um, eclectic selection of new and established amateur, emerging and professional art from all over the UK and Ireland and beyond um, good places such as Brazil and Italy. Opportunities for artists to showcase and sell work are really hard to come by, um, so exhibitions like this are of great importance. The One, the, the one Foot Square 2020 um, serves not only as a platform for showing work and generating, generating sales, but also as an opportunity for the arts community to reach audiences who would not necessarily um, always engage with artwork. The One Foot Square 2020 continues online um, at the Strill uh, Arts Centre Facebook page until the 9th of January 2021. Once again this year, two external adjudic adjudicators have been invited by the Art Service to select uh, three prize winning artists. Thank you to Noel McAlinden and Geraldine O'Reilly from Fermanagh and Omar Arts Forum for agreeing to adjudicate this year's exhibition. First prize is a two weeks arts residency at the Toronto Guthrie Centre. Uh, second prize uh, is for a solo exhibition here in the Arts Centre in 21 to 22. And third prize is £150 towards art materials. The prize will to be announced shortly by Geraldine O'Reilly from Fermanagh and Oma Sport, uh, our Arts Forum. I would like to congratulate all um, the participating artists, uh, some of whom are exhibiting for the very first time. And on behalf of Fermanagh Minister Council, I now declare this exhibition officially open. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction, Chris. I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you who are joining us for this virtual event. I was very pleased to be asked to assist with the judging of the One Foot Square virtual exhibition, along with Noelle McElinden, who has extensive expertise in all aspects of the visual arts. My thanks to Noelle and to the Art Service of Fermanagh Noma District Council for bringing this virtual exhibition together. It all would not, of course, be possible without the artist's input, and a special thanks to all the artists who took time to create and submit work. As part of the submission process, artists provided a short video to accompany their work. You will now be able to access these, so even though it is a virtual exhibition, you can meet the artists, so to speak, and hear about them and their arts practice. I found this aspect of the exhibition particularly interesting, finding out about one artist, for example, who is a sculpture and a performance artist, 
and whose work is more about the process rather than the end result. Another artist speaks of how they created a full body of work during lockdown and how it brought them back to wonderful childhood experiences of playing outside until it got dark and the exploration of these provided them with a real sense of space and satisfaction. Please do take time to virtually meet these wonderful artists. Here is an opportunity also for you to consider investing in a piece of art because all of the artworks in this exhibition are for sale and anybody interested in purchasing a piece of art will be able to contact the artist directly. The submissions were of a very high quality but we managed to shortlist these down to 12 and from the 12 we awarded the three prizes that Chris has mentioned earlier. The £150 voucher for art materials, the opportunity for an artist to host a solo exhibition here in the Stuhl Art Centre Gallery and the two-week residency in the, the Tyrone Guthrie Centre. I will now call out the 12 shortlisted artists and the title of their work in no particular order. This I will follow with the announcement of the three prize winners, which will conclude this evening's event. The 12 shortlisted artists are Anne-Marie Stanley, On The Edge, Aoife Ward, Befriending My Table and Chair. Bear Early, Time for a Chat. Catherine Kerrigan, Ugly Duckling. Chloe Austin, It Is Still. Jerry Bradley, Blue Sunshine. Julie Murphy, Silences. Carl Loggy. Aceto Sella Springtime 3 Marta Romani Sardinian Light Michael Corrigan Smouldering Remains and Senga Sharky Dream Overspell. So now I'm just going to announce the winners and the £150 voucher for art materials goes to Senga Sharkey for her piece entitled Dream Overspill. Hello, I'm Senga Sharkey. The pieces I'm submitting are from a series of abstract acrylic and mixed media paintings on birch panel that I started during lockdown. Uh, that was a period that was quite difficult in a lot of ways, but also for me, it gave a great sense of freedom and I felt a sense of space that I haven't had since um, childhood. Thinking about uh, long summer holidays and playing outside, 
not having to come in till dark. I paint generally intuitively and quickly to begin with and I'll have several panels on the go at the same time. I do a lot of editing then until gradually a narrative comes through into my head um, of how I want the different elements in the painting to connect. And at this point I'll decide on a mood or an impression I'd like the piece to make on the viewer. Uh, and in this particular series, um, I was focused on themes of freedom and joy and play. And I hope the viewer will in turn feel a great sense of enjoyment from these paintings. Thank you for watching. The opportunity to have a solo exhibition here in Street Art Centre goes to Aoife Ward, befriending my table and chair. A sculptor and performance artist from Dublin, currently working in Dublin also. I have my studios in the back loft, La Cathedral Studios on near Thomas Street. Um, yes, I'm a performance artist and a sculptor. My work is mainly focused on um, looking into failure and the, the joys that you can find within failure. I find that the the effort to try is often more important than the actual result. And I like to relish in the failed result as a, as a point of that. Um, my work is seriously unserious. I like to play a lot in this work. I find it humorous, others might not, but that's what I try to get across. And oftentimes the words make the work. I like to play a lot with the title as an accompaniment to the work, almost the piece of work itself. Um, yeah, my work overall is quite slapstick in the way that I approach to putting the objects together when it's sculptural and also in its ideas. It has this uh, slapstick humor to it. And that's it, that's me. And the two-week residency in the Trone Guthrie Centre goes to Jerry Bradley for Blue Sunshine. Thank you. Thank you for, uh, open submission exhibition I have chosen to work on what I feel is a challenging theme, the theme of the female form. It offers endless drawing difficulties and challenges, but what I have done is I have incorporated the things that I like into this one foot square. The one foot square itself is a format, the square format that is, it's a format that I would seldom, if ever, choose to use. The challenge of the square has been interesting. The, f the female form has given me endless opportunities to fill that composition successfully and embrace all of the other things that I as a painter enjoy using. Colour, light, compositional devices and so on. I'm pleased with the outcomes. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.